You intending to shoot me? I never yet did see a stick with a trigger on it, so I guess you'll have to beat me to death. Well, you ain't got no gun either. Jeez. The best hat, too. My only one. Come on out, son. I didn't mean to scare you. What's your name? Moses. Moses, huh? Why aren't you in school? I hate school. Hmm. Without book learning, there ain't much a man can do with himself in this wide world. There's lots of famous men who never could read or write good. Name one. Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? That Weasley runt doing nothing all day but twirling guns? No ability except to pull a trigger. Any man with a finger can do that. Get back to school. Look! A runaway wagon! Yeah. Weren't you gonna do nothing? There ain't much I can do. Well, can't you stop it? You ain't that old. driving this thing anyhow. Our driver left us an Eagle Ridge, a matter of a ridiculous question of money. But our leading lady volunteered to get you all killed. Oh, sir, be our guest this evening uh, at the next town uh, and bring a companion, uh, a token of our thanks. What kind of a show are you putting on? A selection of Shakespeare, a slice of Caesar, a morsel of Lear, a, a choice bit of the dream. Sounds more like a meal than a show. Mr. Gibson, at this pace, we'll never get to Bell City in time to get on. Get up! Wow! You did it! I seen it with my own eyes. Yeah. That was damn great! That was damn dumb. Missed the first step. Thanks, son. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's them marks on your huh? back? Bullet holes? Just pot marks. What's the name of that next town? Bell City. But I don't know why anyone would want to go there. Nothing ever happens in Bell City. 
And Charlie Tucker says the only excitement you can expect is hearing a bird belch. <laughs> Who's Charlie Tucker? My best friend. Well, there are two things in this world you gotta be careful of, son. And that's where you put your trust and who you choose as your friends. And you stay in school. Come on. Hey. Change your shoe on his left foreleg, will you? Sure. This is supposed to be a friendly game. I'm feeling so bad, blasted friendly, Ernie. I'm in Where are you from? About more than a man here. Who's a little man with a big mouth? Just deal, Ernie. <laughs> I guess you mean Reggie Bell. His old man owns half of Bell City. I never dealt a bottom card in my Just life. Just deal, Aaron. Give me two. These are bets. You been to Bell City before? First time. Two. My name's Leonard. Nice to meet you. Reggie, I hope you choke up. <laughs> I got Lady Luck in my lap now, and this little game is a right chew in. <laughs> Mind if I use this chair, gentlemen? Well, let's see your money. Set yourself down on a barrel of rattlers. How many? Just two, and I don't give a shoot what they are. Two. Two. Ernie. You're the here, here, stranger, a pair of aces. I know he ain't got nothing, and I hate to take all his money away from him without him having at least a pair of aces to remember. <laughs> Better bets. I'm out. I'd make it more, except that would this fella away, and I'm aiming slowly to take him to pieces. You're 200. 200 more. I'm out. Mister, 
You gotta start wearing a hat in the sun because your brains is frazzled. Year 200, and 200 on top of that. Hmm. Well, maybe my eyes got injured in that sun as well as my brains. I only see 200 there. Oh, I'm good for it. Don't you worry about that. Let's see it. All I got to do is send over to the bank. I'll wait. Take you friggin' long. I'll give you a piece of paper. Any bank in the territory would be more than happy to trade for cash. I'll make Reggie's paper good. I'll take his paper. <laughs> no need. Full house. Jack on the top. <laughs> Jeez. Straight flush. King high. Trying to recollect. And try as I can. I can't remember ever sitting at a table before with a man who was half scum, half snake. School, huh? School's out. Moses, I want you to get them foolish ideas of Billy the Kid out of your head, huh? Oh, he can maybe take a life, but he can never live one. Mr. Holland? You two boys get away from there. Where are you going? Heading for the bank. You can't go in that bank. How's that? We'd. Kind of like you to make tracks out of Bell City, Mr. Holland. Well, as soon as I turn this piece of paper into real money. Now, we're asking you politely. When I come out of that bank, I'll be on my way. You can't go in that bank. <laughs> well, I'm confused. I've got this IOU for Mr. Bell. Now, if I can't go into the bank, well, how am I supposed to get my money? That money is no more yours than cows can fly. Reggie, I won that money fair. Fair? <laughs> now, that's enough to make a man puke yourself laughing. A bank robber, a killer. Damn right. Handsome Harry Holland. Yeah. I'd done a few things way back that would win no church prizes. But I paid for it, Sheriff. In jail, 15 years. You ain't getting one goddamn cent of mine. You cheated me. I'd be more careful of what I was saying if I was you. You threatened me, Sheriff. That's Shut up, Reggie. Going. We don't want no trouble, Mr. Holland. Neither do I. You do have a reputation, so we'd be obliged if you just get on your horse. I'll be on my way as soon as I get my $200. You ain't going in that bank. Hold it. <laughs> Won't be the first time a lawman's hold me in the back, Sheriff. But I always did get one or two shots off in acknowledgement, you might say. Gall down to hell, Harmon. He's got you scared witless. Shut up, Reggie. Oh, darn it. 
I'm going to talk to your daddy when he comes from back east, and I'll swear he'll whip your butt. Horse spit. You'll probably have your badge. Well, sure. What are we going to do? I'm sorry, sir, but the sheriff just said this, this here piece of paper is worth two hundred dollars. No, sir, I can't. Pay him. What you gonna do when you got the money? They ain't gonna let you just walk out of town with it. Town. Everything fresh painted, peaceful, neat, clean. What do you do with your garbage? I never thought I'd be collecting money owed me. The same way I used to collect it when it wasn't owed me. Sense of humor. Are you really A.J. Holland? Yeah. Come on home. Quick, quick, quick. There he goes, there he goes. I'll look at the responsibility. He's the sheriff of his damn tail. I'm not letting him get out of this town with my money. Go, oh, damn it! He's got my money. Shut your hole, Reggie. Oh, the son of a gun cheated me and is walking away. Holland, Sheriff, get my horse. Because I don't intend walking all the way to Mexico, which is where I'm going. <laughs> This is no concern of ours. Get me a doctor! I'll get him! The hell are you looking at? Easy. Here she comes now. <clears throat> Got it. Look. Ah. You'll be just fine. Unless you die of poisoning. No. Oh. She just sewed me up. Well, the only thing I ever sewed up was the buttons on my shirt when my wife took off with the traveling preacher. What the hell does that mean? I ain't no doctor. Huh? I'm a dentist. Oh, gee. Well, that'll be five dollars. Three? In my saddlebag. Thank you, sir. Maybe Doc Webster will come by and do it nice and proper for you when the, when the meeting's over. What meeting? Well, they're trying to figure out just what to do with you. Some of them's for a straight lynching. Why? Sheriff died. She's dead. She... I guess my eyes ain't what they used to be at. <clears throat> Do you have any friends? Mostly dead. 
Because somebody has to get you out of my room. I've got to leave now. There's a rehearsal. You'll have to miss it. I beg your pardon? Sit down. Lady. I said sit down. You wouldn't dare. Without you in here with me, my life ain't worth fly sweat. Sit down. He killed the sheriff. <laughs> Bell City is a respectable, law-abiding town. He's right, Reggie. You know, you lost that money. Let's burn the hotel down. That's a good idea. Oh, hell huh? you will. That's my hotel, and nobody's burning it. Don't be so my selfish. My leading lady's being held hostage in there. That murdering son of a gun is up there with her right now in that hotel room. Hold it, everybody. Hold it. Uh, Mayor. The only way to deal with that son of a gun is to shoot his brains out. Reggie, I'm going to jail you for inciting these people. Mayor. Uh, Mayor. Chair recognizes the editor of the Bell City Gazette, Mr. Lippert. Rest of you, shut up. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, before we burn the hotel down or blow it up or get Mr. Gibson's leading lady killed, why don't we talk to the man? Talk to him! Well, to ask him to give himself up to the law in a peaceful manner and, and stand trial. You're soft in the head, Lippert. It's the civilized way to do things. Sheriff Harmon's unfortunately not with us to undertake that commission. Wally Blodgett will have to substitute. No, sir. No, sir, I ain't substituting for nobody. You're the deputy. I ain't anymore. A man like Holland shoots a man, he's likely to shoot another. You find yourself somebody else. <laughs> Any volunteers? I'll, uh, I'll meet with the man. Your gentleness shall force. More than your force, move us to gentleness. What would you? Your gentleness. Sorry, you missed your rehearsal. Really? Your gentleness shall force. More than your force. Well, maybe you and the other actors could take advantage of the crowd out there and do your play act in front of the hotel. Perhaps. It would be our biggest audience since we started this tour. Look, uh, I want to thank you for... There's no need. Your gentleness shall force. <laughs> you talk funny. <laughs> what did I say? Well, it ain't what you said, it's how you said it. If anyone talks funny, Mr. Holland, it ain't what you said, it's how you said it. I talk like that. gentleness shall force. What kind of word is that? As you like it. Hmm? Shakespeare. Huh? Never mind. I've seen shows, you know. Yeah. Madison shows, saloons. Those people going to do to you? Hang me from a tree. What 
What are you going to do? Shoot my way out. Those things they said about you, are they true? <laughs> Mr. Holland, I'd like a word with you. Talk. Give yourself up, Mr. Holland. Stand trial. All the circumstances will be taken into account. Baloney! <clears throat> well, you can't keep that girl in there with you forever, Mr. Holland. Get those people away from the window. Bring me my horse and I'll be on my way. Oh, I, I don't think that's possible, Mr. Holland. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm unarmed, Mr. Holland. You ain't seven feet tall, neither. Lippert! You okay in there? You gonna stand fooling around here while that, that killer shoots you dang dead? Mr. Lippert! What's going on? If he's harmed a hair of that poor girl's head, Shooting. Who's coming with me? What was that shooting? <clears throat> it's just his way of putting periods to his sentences. What happened? What did he say? He wants a horse in an empty street. I'll see him in hell first. No, sir. He gets no horse, nothing but a rope around his neck. He's got an innocent girl in there. Hey, Mayor, you have to keep a clear head. My head's clear. We'll go in and get him. Well, now, who's going to go in and get him? Ain't but one man can do that. Ain't but one man can stand up to Holland, Sam Starrett. And I'm the only yellow dog that knows where that man is. Harry Holland. Yeah? Did they really call you that? Yeah. Handsome Harry. won the money fair and square. I did. And you did shoot the sheriff after he shot you in the leg. You saw it. Well, give yourself up. Are you crazy? They're bound to let you go if there's any justice. What justice? That man promised you a fair trial. Maloney, they're looking for blood. Sure, they'll try me and then they'll hang me. Why are you so sure? Because I'm sure. The only way I can get out of this town is to shoot my way out. And what happens to me?
for Sam Starrett. Why do you want him, boy? Something he's the only man can handle. Find somebody else. I reckon that's for him to decide. I speak for him. Baloney, nobody speaks for Sam Starrett. Jose! Now, hold on, son. I ain't here to make trouble. Bust my back to get here. And I ain't leaving till I speak to him. Who are you? Wally Blodgett. I'm a friend. I wouldn't want Sam finding out that you turned me away. You see him? There you go. Then I can. Come out of there. Come out of there, damn it, Drake. Throw them guns out. Come on out of here. Bill Drake. Well, oh, darn it, he's remembering. Over and over. Alice! Since he's drinking the mezcal, or remember oh. that the names of the men he's killed. Oh! Of course he does. That was his job. Oh. Sam, it's oh. me. It's Wally. Look at him. Wally, watch it. Well, I'm here, Sam. Wake up. Huh? Wally? That's right. Let's have a drink. I bet. What? No, no. Not a mess. What the hell is going on here? Hey, what the hell are you doing to him? Oh, mierda! I just got in from Bell City, Sam. Give me a drink, gold damn it. They, they need you. You're needed, Sam. Nobody else can handle Eric except you, Sam. Oh, Sam, Sam, they need you. Sam, they need you. They need you. Help me! All right, what? You want to have a... Son of a pork! And he drinks so much and not die. Yes, why he does not die? You gotta let him go. You gotta, you gotta let him be a sheriff again. No! It's what he was born for. No! He is mine. Mine! He comes to be a sad man. I make him happy. So he drinks a little too much. But I love him. He is mine. Mine! Now you go. I go get him something to eat. And when I come back, I want for you to be gone. Yeah. Get away from that door. You think... That... I think what? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. We'll be on our way. What's in Mexico? Why? Just making conversation? I'm interested. After my wife died, my daughter went there. <laughs> She's got two children. You have grandchildren? Oh, they're just little kids. Uh... How old? 
She married very young. So did I. Must have been a child marriage. So? Me, you Sam, no shouting, because I seen some banditos just a while back, and I think they're stalking us. Kidnap me, you I gotta give you something to drink or you'll die, but I need to keep my own life, too. So I'm gonna try again, okay? That's water. Damn, Wally. Come on, don't you have some tequila or some, some mezcal no, or something? No. Damn it, no. Come on. I'm weaning you off that stuff, because you're needed sober. Needed? Where? Where are you taking me? What for? I'm taking you to Bell City. They need a sheriff with some guts, and I promised I'd bring you. Well, that's too damn bad, because I ain't going. Feel friggin' awful. It's how I feel. I'm dying. I'm dying, Wally. Come on. So let me have a little drink. No, no. Nary a drop till you try something to eat first. Eat? Whether oh. it makes you sick up or it don't. Hell, I never eat. I can't eat. I don't. Nary I don't a drop work. do you get? I Nary drink. a drop do you get? I drink Sam, is what I do. You Come don't on, get one anything. Drop, Wally. You don't get anything unless one you try drop. some of this stuff first. I can drink if I if I have a little taste. Try some of this stuff okay. first. Mm. I want you to spot a card, but remember what it is. What's the card you saw? Four of spades. Find it. It's not here. Oh, you sure you saw it? Of course, the four of spades. Well, it's got to be somewhere. Yes. It's gonna get rough. The door is open. This time, don't come back. I'll go when I'm ready. Lady, you got guts. If I had, I'd have stayed in England and acted there. Why didn't you? I couldn't shame the family. Hmm? Ladies of good breeding. Didn't go into the theater. A long ways from home, Bess. Two. If you get to Mexico... Oh, I'll get there. What will you do? Not much. Eat, sleep, work on the farm from time to time, and watch the sun come up and see it go down, and... Sounds pretty boring, don't it? Two pair. Sounds good to me. Full house. 
your deal. Jeez, for crying! Damn it to hell, I thought we'd lost him. How many are there? I'm, I saw two of them on horses. Maybe there's some more on foot. They probably only got one or two guns, otherwise they would have rushed us before this. Hey! Hey! hey. Hello? 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 You hear me? Hear me? Yeah, we hear you. hear you! We do not wish to hurt you, senor. We wish to be your friend. Well, what the hell are you shooting at us for, then? My friend made a mistake. He thinks you are a deer. What a crock of sheep, Tim. You better untie me, Wally. What do you want? We only wish to be fair and honest. We are about five people with only two horses. And you are two people with two horses. You could give us one of your horses? Is that it? We also only have two old guns between five people. You could perhaps borrow us two guns? Go to hell! My friend, he wishes to kill you. You make it very hard for me to love you, senor. Listen, you idiot. You have no idea what you're dealing with here. I got Sam Starrett here with me, the greatest lawman that ever drew a breath. You hear me? Sam Starrett's with me. <laughs> They never heard of me, Wally. Well, they don't give a hoot. You better get me my gun. El Ringo dice que su amigo es Sam Starrett. Ah, purito cuento. Sam Starrett se hago en tequila. Deje que lo truene. Take a bullet. Listen. You better point this in the right direction. You still know how to shoot one of these things, don't you? I hope so, Wally. Senor! How we know you with some story? Well, just show your ugly face and you'll find out fast enough! for shooting Wally. I'll take that drink now. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Mrs. McKinney. Good night.
Why in Iraq? Well, he doesn't have the man any legs. Mordecai, you listen to me. You so much as breathe one word about this to anybody in this town, and your, your eggs are fried. He'll suffocate in there. All you have to worry about is... Oh, oh, oh. All you have to do is tell the mayor that Sam Starrett is up here in this room, and he'll be at the meeting in the morning. All right, now I'll give you a drink if you promise you won't cry out, okay? Now, you okay? Wally. Wally. I'm gonna kill your ass! And you... over there in the hotel right now, terrorizing this girl he took prisoner. There's no telling what he's doing to her. <laughs> Nobody dast make a move against him lest he kills her dead. And, uh, I'm supposed to go over and face him down, huh? I told the mayor that's what you would do. Well, you can go to hell, because I ain't going to do it. You got to. I made him a promise. I'm the deputy. And you do it. Well, you're the sheriff. And now I'm not. How about a little drink of that, uh... Nary a drop. Not unless you say you'll go up against Holland. Oh, well, then I'll tell you what I'll do, uh... Uh, you untie me and give me that bottle, and I uh, might talk to you about it. Just take a little sip, huh? and that poor girl. Come up and get them. We just got ourselves somebody who'll do that. Yeah. Well, who might that be? Sam Starrett. Don't believe it. 
Stairs not wearing a badge anymore. He's wearing a badge and he's here. I don't see him. Stare it. Stare it. Oh, damn it. He's coming. Gotta help, Sam. I'll give you a drink if you just say something. He's here! Hold on! Please, Sam. Oh. Be good. Oh. Oh. Sam. For God's sake, say something. Long time, Harry. Long time. You can give yourself up now, Holland. Or you can wait for him to bring you out. Easy. What do you say? I shouldn't have brought you here, Sam. I can see that now. I, I was... I was just... showing off. Talking about all the, the big men I used to know. And you especially, because you was the best of them. God damn it, but I used to admire you, Sam. Like I never admired no other man. You, you was the law. And you was needed by all of us. People could protect ourselves against those that thought we was no more than cattle that they could milk when they wanted to and slaughter for the hell of it. That was what you were put on this good earth for, Sam, and not, not to be no drunk puking away your last good years. Wasn't bad, was I, Wallen? Sam, bad. You never had an equal. this person? Huh? Who is Sam Starrett? Uh, older fella. Used to be a lawman. He used to chase you? Now and again. He was good, too. Maybe he still is. You know, Bess, I could have killed him once. But you didn't. <clears throat> what are you going to do now? Kill him. This time. Kill the sheriff. Yeah, but the sheriff drew on him. 
Only after Reggie got shot in the hand. Yeah, but this Reggie, he, uh, he drew first. Well, Holland was about to shoot him. Sounds to me like he's just trying to defend himself. Tell me, Wally. Just, what am I here for, exactly? Kill Holland, huh? No. Face him down. Bring him to trial. Oh. Oh, I see. I, uh, I just hold out my hand and smile, ask him for his gun, which he's going to give me, of course. And this your town's going to be satisfied? Oh, I know, Wally. But they went around here to see a, a gunfight. See somebody killed. Better get dressed, Sam. A lot of people want to meet you. Yeah. Reckon I need a shave, too. No, 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 no. Not till after the meeting. No, no, no. You're not till after the meeting. Come on now, Wally. Just one, one little shot before. No, no. Come on now, Wally. Ah. Wally, I want now. I'll break it. That. Oh. Wally, I'll tear you up. And you ain't getting another drop of this until after the meeting. After? After. <laughs> After. Sheriff Starrett, we're mighty glad to see you. Come inside, Sheriff. Come inside. We need you badly, Sheriff. like a drink, sir. Oh, uh... Uh, let's hear you, Sheriff. Tell the good people. Yeah. Well, the, uh, first thing I ought to do... Uh... Kill Holland. Yeah. First thing I ought to do is get paid. We've already made those arrangements, Sheriff. Oh, you have? We have. Two hundred dollars. That's not bad. Sam, where the hell are you going? What did I say? Not enough. How much? Hell of that mad dog you got up there, hell of a lot more than that. How much? Bring Harry Holland to trial. Or to face him down. Or to face him down. $2,000. You got it. You must be Reggie. Well, every damn fool in town knows that. Reggie, are you crazy? That's over $5 a head for every man, woman, and child in this town. I'm you? standing for it. You got yourself a deal, Sheriff. Shoot. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Dinner's ready. Uh, good for dandruff. <laughs> Works wonders. I got it from an old Indian chief. There seem to be a lot more people out there. Yeah, my old man used to say, if you see a whole lot of people gathered together, leave them in song or stay the hell away from them. 
He was a clever old man. Well, not so clever. He climbed up on the roof of our barn in the middle of a storm to see if the lightning rod was okay. Yeah, after the funeral, Ma got sore at the barn and burned it down. <laughs> Bess, what do you say you and me have a drop of whiskey? Why don't you untie that girl and let her come out of here? She's got no part in this. I let her go. What's to stop you from blowing up the hotel? But well, there's no intention to kill you. Bring you to trial, that's all. Come on down here and stop hollering. You come up. No, you come down. Now stop it, Starrett. You come up and we'll talk about over a glass of whiskey. This fellow hasn't changed. Like sensible men. Unbolt the door. It's open. on you, man? From time to time. Like it. Not like you, Holland. Hiding behind a woman's skirts. Ain't like you stare at to stick your nose where it don't belong. They say you stole some money. You killed a man. They are full of it. Well, we'll find that out at the trial, won't we? Well, I'll be goddamn. Do they know? Do they know what? That you're a drunk. Drunk or sober, I can still handle you, Holland. I guess they don't. Or they wouldn't be sending you up against me. Sheriff, you all right up there? We're talking it over now. Oh. <laughs> We're talking. All you folks, go on home. Go on. So, uh, you didn't draw first? Nope. <sighs> you have to kill the sheriff. Habit. Well, let the girl go. I want to stay. Oh. Oh. Handsome Harry. Well, well, then, now that I've had a chance to uh, reflect on this a bit and piecing it all together, we're in terrible shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been there before. Oh, yes, yes. Probably that time when uh, you shot that judge in the throat. Uh, old Nat Fawcett. Right in his own courtroom. He was a son of a bitch. <laughs> well, he's probably dead by now. God, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, those were the times, huh? Yeah. Well, things have all changed now, Harry. Man gets old. 
Well, it uh, happens to all of us, old timer. Oh, damn it, all years old I am. I was just a kid when we first met up. You was riding with Jesse, and ever the whole world knows you're older than him. Come on. He's drunk. Golly, you. You haven't changed at all, not one bit. When I rode into this town, I expected to track you down at the local barber shop, looking at yourself in the mirror. I'm telling you, Sterrett, I should have gunned you down that day at Sidewinder Ridge. Yeah, well, why didn't you do it, you self-loving braggart? Don't push me, Sterrett. There we was, all alone, 100 miles from nowhere, no one to watch us. I rolled out of my blanket, and there he was. Handsome Harry Hall. I've been chasing him off and on for 10 years, standing there, big as life, looking at me, but he didn't draw his gun. I don't recall you drawing yours. Why didn't you draw, handsome Harry? You didn't have a weapon in your hand. Oh, I... baloney. Smiled at me, got on his horse, and rode away, because there was nobody around to shake his hand and say, I seen handsome Harry Holland take Sam Sterrett. Now, listen, Sterrett, you've been telling everybody you were going to gun me down. So why didn't you draw, huh? I, uh... <sighs> I had enough killing. <laughs> well, you became a drunk. <laughs> well, and life's full of surprises. Yeah, like finding you in this pretty little town. Don't worry. I'm on my way to Mexico. Oh, no, you ain't. What do you mean? I'm going to stop you. That's my job. Besides, I need the money. Nice for the surprises. Thought you was never coming down, Sheriff. <sighs> Got my money, Reggie. Oh, what happened up there, Sheriff? Uh, what's going on? Let's go find that judge. Huh? Uh, he's on his way here now from Union Wells. Union Wells? Hell, that... Well, that must be more than a week's ride from here, ain't it? Ah, uh, not anymore. We got a train stops five miles outside of town. He'll be here in the morning, day after next. Ooh. Well, I think we ought to get all these people off the streets here. There ain't no circus around here. I'll see to it. All right, everybody inside. All you boys go home. Come on, Come everybody. On. Inside. Get yourselves home now. Nothing more to see here tonight. What is after? In the room. Give me the bottle, Wally. God's sake, Sam, not on the street. A taste, ladies and gentlemen, a mere introduction to the carnage you will witness. For these are bloody times, and Caesar is but one offering to the gods. Uh, adults, 25 cents. Refreshments will be served. Get up. Come on. Oh. Get up. Move yourself. 
Oh. Well, what, uh, what can I do for you boys? Show us how fast you can get on your horse and get out of town. Well, I'll be leaving right after Mr. Hollins had his trial. Ain't gonna be no need for no trial. Circuit Judge will be here soon. Circuit Judge can keep on going on his circuit because we ain't gonna need him. Well, now, we have a, a deal, Reggie. <laughs> a deal with a drunk don't mean spit. <laughs> I figured you'd try to sneak out of town with the money before you had a face hauling anyway. What are you going to do? What are you planning? You're going to rush him? You're going to kill a girl and get your own butt blown off. Shut up. Shut up, you mealy mouth bucket of spit. Now, I want that money. Move. <laughs> maybe, maybe this will help. Have a drink, Sheriff. What the? Uh... Go on. Lick it up. Don't put me off, Reggie. Go on. Lick it up. Ain't nobody gonna know but us folks, and we don't give a damn. Go on. Lick it up. <laughs> oh, damn. It's the second time. a safe place to stay for a while, Wally. Lock him up. Inside. Watch out where you're bleeding. You boy. Come on, get out of here. You two. Come on, over. all of you. Get out from there. Come on, not damn it. You! Get the hell out of here! Now, oh, see here, Sheriff. How long have you been building this thing? Since the day Holland locked himself up in the hotel. Better get down from there. No. Better get down. Get down. There you go. I gave orders personally. I'll give you some orders right now. I want every gun in this town brought into that jailhouse and locked up before I bring Holland in for trial. You got that? Wally? All right, get out of here! You wanted a sheriff. I got you one. They have made themselves and that their enterprise does now unmake you. I have given suck and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out had I so sworn as you have done to this. I'll be damned. So does Macbeth. <laughs> My God, Bess, I ain't never seen nothing like it. It was just fine. Uh, t tell me now, what did it mean? It means if you say you're going to do something, do it. Was Starrett right? Like me, you needed an audience. He was drunk. Harry, to my own self be true, 
and it shall follow as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Harlan! What the hell do you want now? Why don't you come down and let me lock you up safe and sound until the judge is ready to try you? Sake, Sam, you know I ain't got a chance with a judge from this town. Oh, there's a circuit judge coming in from Union Wells. It's a week's ride. Arriving tomorrow morning by train. It'll be a fair trial, I promise you that. I'll think about it. Same. Where's your jail? He ain't in it yet, but he will be soon. Good. Blodgett, I'm the deputy. The... Sam! I just saw the circuit judge. You know who it is? Nat Fawcett, the hanging judge. Holland shot in the throat? with you. Nobody, damn it. Judge here yet? He sure as hell is. What's wrong? It's that Fawcett. You promised me a fair trial. Yeah, I know I did. I got an idea. Drunken bum. He has raped, robbed, pillaged. He has killed. And to show leniency would be to betray the aspirations of this great country of ours. Yeah. Let the Lord himself pass Please. judgment. Harry Holland. I sentence you to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. Yeah. Those are mighty fine sounding words, sir, but I reckon Mr. Holland's heard them all somewhere before because uh, he's not going to give up his freedom to be judged by you. 
He knows I'm here. He does. Then how are we going to get him out of that hotel? He'll draw for it. Free if he wins. And if he loses, justice will be done. I'm calling him out first thing tomorrow morning. Just him and me. Still give yourself up, Perry. The hell I can, Sheriff.
Mighty fine shooting, Sheriff. Mighty fine. Get away from me! You had your show? Wally, get a couple of men and put him on top of that coat. I'll bury him myself. Make sure you people get your money's worth. Let's hope Bell City never witnesses such an act again. Oh, man. Would like a taste of good whiskey? Damn right I would. Well, I'm not a drinker, man, but I might have a sip of that myself. <sighs> this stuff sticks like red mud. Gibson invented it. <laughs> From glue and ketchup. I believe you're holding something of mine. Oh, my insurance. <laughs> Here's your half, partner. You know, Sam, I, uh, I think I outgrew you. Oh, no, you didn't. I can do it every time. Hell, you can. Yes, I can. No, no, you can't. <gasps> 